Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, my name is Macy. I usually do not film here or in this state. I'm in Texas right now. Is that stupid? That looks funny. <laughs> and I'm outside because it's just pretty out. But this video is a little bit different because I thought that I would just answer questions. I feel like every YouTuber is like, I'll just sit down and answer questions, but that's what I'm doing. But with a little twist, I have two friends to answer questions with me and Wait, I thought this- It looks this... like I'm not wearing pants. It's okay, I'll get you. <laughs> This is Whitney. Hi. This is Lexi. Hello. I thought it'd be fun to answer questions with them because we all just finished up our freshman year of college, but they went to TCU, where I'm going. Get I went. <laughs> <laughs> I went to San Diego State, so we just all have different like answers, maybe. Okay, wait. This does not make sense. How I would know them if I'm going there in the fall? So really quick. <laughs> <laughs> Explain my whole life story. This is Lexi. We met in preschool class in California. I still live there. I have lived in California my whole life, but we've been best friends since we were three right two one we zero before like, the whim we knew it <laughs> Um, but then in sixth grade, she moved sure. to Paris. Freshman year of high school, she moved to Texas. So where she met me. Yeah. yeah. Then Wh Lexi met Whitney. <laughs> yeah. So they're both from Fort Worth. That's where we are right now. Hope I cleared the air because some people ask me how I know someone in Texas already, and that's how she moved here. Yeah. We might start sweating. We've been like outside tanning all day. <laughs> if we start dripping, but how should we do this? Should we just like profusely sweating? We'll just see who has the best answer. We might all. Be um, like. Okay. This is a good one. How did you? Pick your major so I'll start it I am advertising and I've just always wanted to do something around that area whether it's marketing advertising I don't know so I started off as marketing and then I realized that advertising existed and it just seemed a little bit more creative and less math so that's how I chose, but again, it might switch. That's just yeah. what I am right now. I've just always been interested in it. I started in fashion merchandising, and then I just, it was too specific for me. So now I'm strategic communications, so that's what we're doing today. Yeah, strategic communication at TCU is basically just advertising, PR, yeah. all of that. So we're both the same major at TCU. Go frogs! <laughs> My major is interior design, which is really exciting. I basically picked it because from a really young age, I was like really interested in like couches. Yeah, <laughs> couches. I was really interested in couches and like light curtains. <laughs> yeah. Um, how did you and your Texas friend meet? Answered that. Yeah. What do you think the biggest difference is between Texas and California? This is an easy California. one. In California, you have pretty beaches, and here you have ugly beaches. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so California is obviously more of a tourist yeah. destination. I feel like this is just more of like a homey place. Yeah, this is, the people here are more like nice, like they're friendly. Where we Southern work. hospitality is a thing. Yeah, yeah, it definitely is a thing. But I don't want to say the people are way better because like I always had nice friends in California. Yeah, like I feel like the people we surround ourselves with in California. Yeah, are, like good weather. Weather in California is way more mild, and here it's yeah, here it's like extreme. Yeah, just more humid. Um, what's your fave memory from your freshman year of college? Oh gosh, I don't know. Mine was my birthday when I went to Newport with my friends, cause I, that was just like so wholesome. Yeah, I think my favorite part was just like formals in general, but also I went to Austin for I never, formal. I which never is went so to fun. formal next year. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I think dorm life was just fun. Yeah. It's like, fun living with all your best friends. Yeah. I like thought about how I'm never gonna live in my dorm again and like as gross as it was, I just miss it. Yeah. There's something about coming home every day and just having <laughs> good group miss of girls. You, Peyton. How hard is the coursework in college compared to high school? Did you cut your hair? It looks great. Thank you. I cut my hair a little bit ago, but it's just <laughs> curly so it looks shorter. Um they went to a private like college prep high school, is that what you would call it? Yeah. I get it. Yeah. Yeah, a I just say. A uh, private preparatory high school. So, okay, you guys can answer that. I feel like the thing with TCU is like the classes themselves, I wouldn't say are like extremely challenging, but the tests, like when you get to a yeah. test, that's when you're like, oh. Yeah, I think our school prepared us well though. Like at our school in high school, like it was a big deal if you missed a day of school. If you missed a day of school, it felt you like were, you like, missed a week. Yeah. And so I feel like that helped us for college because it put us in the mindset like you can't like, miss your Like everything's classes. important. Yeah. Yeah. Go, to Go to class. class. Go to class. <laughs> um, as much as I would die for my high school, love that place with every piece of me. Like, if you know me, you know that I loved high school. I really don't think that it prepared me for college whatsoever. And I think that's how public school might be for a lot of people. College, I think, is just harder for, me, for people because you have so much to do 
with living on your own and then adding homework on top. Yeah. Whereas in high school, like life is just easier, yeah. right? In high school, I was bored when I would come home, but like yeah. in college, I'm you're, you're never bored. Never bored. Ever. How are you so pretty? <laughs> yeah. Thank you. It was a question. Two, how are you so pretty? Oh, thank. You. I don't know. <laughs> um, two questions that go together. What do you think about long distance relationships and long distance relationship advice? Okay, since you did long distance relationship, you'll answer the advice. I'm gonna say what I think of them. Okay, okay. I'll say what I think of them. Oh, that's gonna get roasted. <laughs> no, I think that if you have a long distance relationship in college, it is totally fine if that person isn't holding you back. Like, if you're not wanting to go out and do normal freshman year things because you're scared of what your boyfriend might think, then I think you should say bye bye. Yeah. <laughs> but if you can still go out with your friends, have trust in each other, and it's yeah. a stable, healthy relationship, then yes, 100%, because then there's not an issue. Would you agree? Yeah. Yeah. Also, like, both have to be on board to do it. It can't be, like, a single-sided thing. Yeah. Okay, now let's listen to the girl that actually did long distance. Currently, <laughs> give me some advice. <laughs> yeah, give us. <laughs> okay, I'm currently doing long distance. I wouldn't say it's, like, a huge deal because my boyfriend goes to school in Texas. He goes to A&M. So Ooh. it's... <laughs> Sorry. Dang so it's only a three hour drive from TCU. So that's like a plus. Wait, say, really quick. Some people might be like, that's not distance, but I think that if you can't see each other every day, that it's distance. I mean, it's a big jump I, yeah. from like going to the same high school as that person. For advice, I'd say, well, communication, like you need to talk about it. Like actually have a serious talk about it before. Um, Not just like try and see how it goes. Yeah, like you actually need to talk about it. And then setting up, like at the beginning, I remember we had like a phone, like a, not like a call schedule, but like we would like try to like call a lot. Um, I'm gonna answer one because I think that if you don't know me some people might have this assumption which is totally fine but someone said if you got into a sorority would you still be leaving SDSU? Yes because because CC is just better. <laughs> if I would have ended up being in a sorority I think that it definitely would have been harder to leave because that just brings in a lot of complications I would have had to leave my friends my sisters um and like it would also kind of narrow some things down because obviously i'd probably still want to be in that chapter if i transferred yeah and that's just kind of hard it definitely would have been harder to leave but at the end of the day greek life or not i did not like sdsu it just was not the school for me and that was the bottom line so yeah i definitely think that i still would have left i just know that it would have been a way harder process not being in a sorority did end up being like the biggest blessing ever and it just proved that everything happens for a reason but yeah does that answer it? Yeah. Um, What's your TikTok? What's your TikTok, Brooke? Even though I moved on to Triller. No. But <laughs> I actually don't know my TikTok username. That's probably a good thing. <laughs> I'll get that for you guys. Let me think of one. Did you Coke or Pepsi? Coke. Diet Coke. <laughs> Diet Coke. Hey, Macy, do you have a boyfriend or a crush? XOXO or XX from France. Love watching your videos. First of all, that's dope that you're from France. No, I don't have a boyfriend. Do I have a crush? I don't know. I have a crush. <laughs> <laughs> I actually don't think I have a crush right now. <laughs> Who are your favorite YouTubers? Oh, okay. So we'll just go. We'll just say them really quick. <laughs> okay, so I guess I'll do a short list. Um, <laughs> a short list. Goes off. I like, like Tati. I like Lauren Elizabeth. I like I like oh. Maggie McDonald. I like uh, I used to like Olivia Jade. <laughs> Claudia Solis. I miss Olivia Jade. I Comment really if you do Claudia. too. I, I kind of low key do miss her. Um, um, I really like Sarah's Day. Oh yeah. yeah. Hannah Malone. Star. Ellie Thuman. Oh, yeah. the, dope, like the dope girls. The, well, they're not dope anymore. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but, the, but that genre. <laughs> I like kind of like a more specific niche of YouTubers like Danielle Carolyn. Yeah. yeah. Her. I love this girl named Blair Walnuts. If you guys don't watch her, you Walnuts. need to. She recreates celebrities and like popular diets for a day. But she is the funniest person you will ever watch. And I definitely want to start making videos kind of like her. We need to tell them the story. Me and Lexi used to be obsessed, obsessed I'm with, still don't know what you're with Aspen and Parker. <gasps> oh, my and God. Then, oh, God. Aspen Ovard blocked us both on Instagram. We are both blocked from Aspen Ovard. I will show evidence. <laughs> Wait, actually. There was this one outfit that she was okay, wearing. it wasn't even me. It, it was, was not like, mean. Like, we were genu genuinely wondering, like, what is she wearing? Because it so wasn't its trend at the I time. I tagged Macy, and I was like, what is she wearing? And then I replied, and I said, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> blocked within an hour. We were blocked so fast. Like, it was not being mean. We were just like, what is she wearing? Have you already moved to Texas? This might be confusing because I've posted here. But I came to Texas this week for a frog camp. If you don't know, go frogs. Go frogs. <laughs> frog camp is, uh, it's a camp for your first year experience at TCU. I would really recommend doing it if you're an incoming freshman because I think if I was a freshman, it would have eased a lot of nerves about college. But I did get to meet a lot of people going to TCU in the fall. So yeah. I did that. 
the last three days, and now I'm at Lexi's house, just yeah. hanging. Favorite spin move? Mine's the tap backs. <laughs> tap backs. Me and my friend broke two spins. Hurts. Middle bar push up. I'm gonna answer this. How do you feel about leaving SDSU? I'm gonna be honest. I have had a few moments of like, what am I like? Not like, what am I doing? Like a few panic moments, yeah. just because I truly was so comfortable there, and I start second guessing myself, and I'm mm -hmm. like, would it have been easier just to stay? But then again, I start thinking about myself being there next year, and like kind of running it through my head, and I just know that this is yeah. what I gotta do. I think it's definitely gonna be hard. Do not get me wrong. I don't want my videos to come off as just like. This is I, easy. I already I, have friends. Yeah. <laughs> College is just hard adjusting in general. Yeah. Like I think like yeah. even being away from farther from oh, family. Yeah. Will I'm be. definitely scared being farther away from family. But you have a family here. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know most people study abroad for one semester and not six? Brooke keeps saying that I'm studying abroad in Texas. <laughs> <laughs> what are you most excited for in going to TCU? Um, I'm just here for the tailgates and the party. <laughs> Probably just like being in a community where people care so much about school yeah. and each other yeah. and spirit. I feel like I always say that, but spirit. just like going to TCU these last few days, I was literally shocked at how nice and welcoming people were and while my friends were super super nice at SDSU the culture was not like that whatsoever it's true that like everyone around you wants to do well in school yeah mm -hmm. so that like, really does keep you motivated they do so much to check in with their students and they care so much about like mental health if you're doing okay yeah. Yeah. they realize that college is a lot more than just going to class which I think is huge um would you recommend to transfer schools if they aren't happy or stick it out transfer transfer, transfer but stick it out Give longer, it time. Give it time because I really wanted to transfer after second, after first semester. Yeah. I wanted to get out of there and I stuck it out and I am, I will forever be so happy yeah. that I stayed the full year because it does get better but I don't think the school will ever change. So yeah. obviously of course talking if you are able to transfer. If you're yeah. not, then stick it out and just make the most of it because yeah. I, I know that if I wasn't able to transfer, I know that I could make the most of it at SDSU but. Yeah. How are you really? That's sweet. I know. Aww. I'm doing good. I'm actually doing pretty great. I, I think too. I'm actually at the peak of my life right now. Really? Maybe that sounds dramatic. No, that's nice. Yeah. Okay, I like, was telling really my friend happy. the other day with me, nothing's going wrong in my life, but I'm also not like stoked on anything right oh, yeah. now. I, I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> like nothing's like wrong. I'm just like. Yeah. Have you ever had your heart broken? See, for me, I don't really know. So I, I guess know. no. <laughs> <laughs> you have. I mean, like, I mean, yeah. I was sad, but I don't know if it was a real heartbreak. <laughs> I think mine was more not really like yours was more like betrayal. Betrayal, yeah. Yeah. I like, friend wise. Oh, sorry. I haven't had my heart broken because I think I would know definitely and say yes. Yeah. But I've definitely been really upset. Yeah. <laughs> like we're fine now. <laughs> um, should that be it? Yeah. That's gonna be it for this video, just because I don't want it to be like an. App. Sorry, the bugs are really going off right yeah, now. They have <laughs> No, this video might be loud with the nature. If I could, I would sit here for like three more hours and answer a bunch of questions, but that would be really boring. So we're gonna end it. But before we do, I'm gonna announce the giveaway winner. If you guys are new here, I do giveaways pretty much every week over the summer. I say every week, but this is my second one. It was my goal to do a giveaway every week over the summer. So this week I'm giving away a FabFitFun box. I worked with them last week and I thought it would be really fun to send someone one. Um, off my own money just because it's like literally such a fun gift. Um, so this week's winner is, I will put it right here, I actually don't know how to pronounce your name and I feel really bad, Thaley or Tali, I feel so bad if I butchered that, but yeah, that was the giveaway for this week. You won, I will DM Woo! you. <laughs> Why did I win? But that is all, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys do like more of these casual videos, Give let me know. Thumbs up, like, film. comment, subscribe. Do you guys wanna end it? <laughs> No. <laughs> Bye. Should we do something silly? Should we do a silly ending? Okay, what should we do? That's <laughs> that's it for now. Bye. <laughs> see you in my next video. Can, you cannot put that in. <laughs> but yeah, see you in your next video. See you guys in my next video. <laughs> that was good. Seriously, subscribe so that I'll see you in my next video because if I show up and you guys aren't here, that is going to be so hard on me. It's so awkward. <laughs> it's going to be so awkward. I just post a video and I'm going to be... Okay. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Hi, guys. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today...